let's draw some llamas today. Now, when I started off with this project, I had no idea how to draw a llama myself. And I couldn't just make it up because I knew that wouldn't look right. So what I had to do was some research. So I looked online at different llama faces and oh my goodness, they are just so cute. And that gave me a lot of good ideas about how it had tall ears that kind of curved up, how the eye is on either side of the head with the nose and mouth in the middle, and most of all, the fluffy texture of the llama. Now, another thing that really helped me was by looking up how to draw a llama step by step. So when I Google searched that, I found this picture that I really liked. And this picture was my guide in learning how to draw a llama. Now I had to practice a lot, but after practicing, I've learned how to draw a llama pretty well. To start with our llama, we're gonna start with the ears and the fluffy hair up at the top. So I'm gonna start by drawing kind of a wavy line. This is gonna be the fluffy oval of hair at the top of my llama's head. Now the ears come up from that and they're sort of like, I kind of think of them as half banana shapes. They kind of curve the way a banana curves. Now to make them look even more like a llama ear, I kind of go back and add a little bit of a wavy line over them so that they look fluffy. Whenever we're trying to make a drawing look like it has texture when it really doesn't, that's called implied texture. So I'm implying that my llama is furry by adding these wavy lines and these little short lines that look like hairs. And you can add as much as you want depending on how fluffy you want your llama to look. Now after that, we're gonna draw the llama face. Now this part is a little bit tricky, but after looking closely at the examples, you'll be able to do it just fine. So you start with kind of a, sort of like an oval shape, like a U shape. But I drew that kind of lightly because I noticed that it's not a perfect U. It kind of bumps in a little bit for the chin at the bottom. So I kind of changed that bottom shape to make it look a little more realistic like a real llama. Just like that. Now the next step is eyes. Eyes go on either side of the head right below this little fluffy patch of hair. And llama eyes are very interesting. I knew I wanted to get them right. They start off with sort of a slanted diagonal line. The diagonal line goes right off the edge of the head here. It kind of has some eyelashes that stick out. And then it kind of curves down like this. Kind of like a half circle almost. Same thing on the other side. A slanty diagonal line. And I'm trying to get my llama's eyes symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. And then my half circle, just like this. Now llamas have really long eyelashes. So off of my straight diagonal line, I'm just gonna add in some eyelashes. I'm also gonna add in a shiny little circle to my llama's eyes. That part's gonna stay white when I color it all in. Now the next step is we're gonna do the nose. The nose and the mouth are gonna be right here in the bottom of our U shape that we drew for the face. And it's kind of interesting. I like to start with the mouth. And the mouth is a little bit similar to many animal mouths that we've drawn before. You start with a line and then another line curves up. like this. Now that's the same way I've drawn a mouth for a cat or a mouth for a dog. They look kind of similar. And then you can draw a little opening to the mouth right there if you like. And then the nose goes right here in the middle. 
So you have to look kind of closely, but basically it has a little V shape and then kind of comes across and then it has a curved nostril on each side that it breathes out of. And I'm gonna shade in each nostril just a little bit. There we go, that was a little tricky, but by looking at the photographs of llamas, I was able to just kind of copy that. Now afterwards, we have to draw the neck of the llama and the neck is really fluffy. So it actually starts kind of up higher on the face and it's just a fluffy zigzag line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Lots of little hairs, lots of little zigzags, just like so. Now, after you are pretty sure that you have your llama the way you like it, and I'm gonna sort of add a few extra details. Maybe I want that nose to stand out a little more in the middle. Maybe I want a few little extra hairs or eyelashes. Maybe I want that chin to be a little fuzzier. When you're sure you have it how you like it, then we're gonna take a Sharpie marker and outline. Now we're not gonna be coloring in with Sharpie. We're only going over the pencil lines that we drew. So for example, if I'm gonna start with my little fluffy piece of hair, then I'm just going to trace over all those lines the best I can. I know it's not going to be perfect, but that's okay because anything that I don't trace perfectly, I can just erase that extra pencil with an eraser. Now when it comes to the eyes, the eyes are a little bit special. We are allowed to color those in. So let's go ahead and trace our eyelashes trace our diagonal line and our half circle. Trace the little highlight so that it stays outlined. And then all of this can be colored in. I might be coloring over some of my eyelashes as I do this, but that's okay. We can go back over them later with some other art supplies to make them stand out. There we go. By coloring the llama's eye black, it looks a lot better. I'm just going to continue until all my pencil lines are traced. When all of your pencil lines are erased and your Sharpie is done, you are finished for the day. Next time we come to art, we'll work on adding some shading to our llama and some other colors as well.